Racing fans, welcome to part one of episode 23 of the big group one racing shows. This is for the racing season of 2016 slash 17. There is four group ones coming up this Saturday. The championships have arrived. In this part of episode 23, I'll preview two group ones. And uh, one of those will be the English series for the two-year-olds. And the other will be the BMW Australian Derby for the three-year-olds. They are real large fields, so let's not muck around. Let's get straight in to having a look at the first two group, two group ones at Royal Randwick this Saturday as part of the championships. So the first group one at Royal Randwick this Saturday is the... Inglis series. It is race six on the agenda and will be ran over the 1400 meter distance. The horses will jump from the barrier at 310 p.m. Of course, you can watch all the action from day one of the championships this uh, Saturday at Royal Randwick on seven and also Sky Racing. One. Let's have a look at the field for the English series. The race for two-year-olds. A lot of these horses coming off that golden slipper win a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Frolic is the current favourite at $5.50. At $6.50 we have Talip. Uh, Maneri is at uh, $9.50. Gunnison is at $11. Uh, we then have Invader at $12. Summer Passage uh, comes from New Zealand. Uh, is backed by the punters at $13. Trape Trapeze Artist is backed by the punters at $17, as well as Astoria. Uh, we then have Chauffeur at $18, as well as Diamond to Kath Kata. Uh, Vanillo is at $26. Single Bullet at $31. One More Honey at $31 also. Sacconi's at $34, as well as The Mission. Aspect at $61. Memento is at $71. Feng Chu is at $126 as well as mentioned. Navy and then Spencer is last of all at a whopping $201. So let's not muck around. Let's get straight into having a look at the field in debt for the English series. Group 1. Number 1 is Chauffeur. This horse is a Jared Ryan trained horse with Joshua Parr aboard as the jockey. It's coming out of barrier 20 which is a very very wide barrier it must be said. And uh, it's only had one uh, win from its uh, five starts. Finished ninth in the Group 1 Golden Slipper a couple of weeks ago. That, that was its last start, uh, where it was just no threat at all to the front field. Uh, like I said, very wide barrier. That is a big concern for me for, uh, for this horse. Number two is Maneri. This horse is also a Jared Ryan trained horse it's coming out of barrier 11 and uh, Corey Brown stays on as the jockey for this race has one win to its name so far went all right in the group one golden slipper last start finished fourth uh, with a plucky late finish it's fair to say that yet to finish outside the top six I reckon this horse might be in with a shot in this race Number three, Diamond to Thetica, and uh, this horse is a Mark Newnham trained horse. It's coming out of barrier 18. Glenn Schofield is aboard, stays on uh, board uh, from its last run. One at Royal Randwick, uh, two starts back in the Group 2 skyline. It could only settle for seventh in the Golden Slipper with its best work coming late in the race. It has a very wide barrier, so that... Uh, that makes me want to pass. Number four is Veranillo. This horse is a John O'Shea trained horse. Joey Marrera comes on board. Uh, of course, the great man himself. And it is coming out of barrier six. Uh, finished outside the top three for the first time. Last start in the group one. Golden slipper. So very amazing stuff there from that horse. Uh, it uh, had done all right up until that 
point. Has won at Randwick before, but might find this a little bit too tough in my opinion. But with Joe Moreira aboard, anything's possible. It is at $26 odds. Number five, Trapeze Artist. This horse is a Jared Ryan trained horse. Tim Clark stays aboard from its last run and it's coming out of barrier three. Uh, was behind the speed but did well late to claim six in the Group 1 Golden Slipper a couple of weeks ago, last start. Uh, might be suited to the extra 200 metres. That's what I'm gathering from its last couple of runs, especially in the last uh, race in the Golden Slipper. It is at $19 odds. Uh, could be roughy status, yet to finish outside the top six. Number six is Gunnison. This horse is a Peter and Paul Snowden trained horse. It's coming out of barrier 14. Blake Shin stays on. And uh, it's at uh, $13 odds. Led the whole race uh, and kicked away to win last start at Royal Randwick in the Todd Men on a heavy nine track. It's undefeated in two starts and it's won at group two level. So look, I think this horse looks very, very good. And I think uh, at $13 odds, this horse is uh, one of uh, possibly the chances in this race. Number seven is Single Bullet. This horse is trained by Gary Portelli and Ben Melman takes the ride for this race. It's coming out of barrier seven and uh, might be a forgiving run in the Golden Slipper last start. Wasn't really suited to the poor conditions. That's what I gathered. And uh, because its recent form wasn't actually too bad until it got to the Golden Slipper and, and on that heavy 10 track, which was very, very trying conditions at Rose Hill Gardens, wasn't able to, uh, to get at the uh, front of the field like it normally does. So it finished 13th out of the 16 horse field. Top three finish in four of its other starts before the Golden Slipper. So that's what I talked about uh, just just before that uh, its form before the Golden Slipper was uh, not too bad. That's for sure. Could be could, could be a contender of course. The uh, track at the moment is a uh, soft track so uh, it could be uh, it could be up there as one of the contenders. Uh, is it uh, interesting odds? Number eight is Invader. This horse is a Peter and Paul Snowden trained horse. It's coming out of barrier four. Huey Bowman takes the ride from Joey Marrera who rode this horse to a second in its last start over the 1200 meter distance. Won two of three races at Ramwick. So that's its uh, history at uh, Royal Ramwick so far. Hit the line strongly in its last race and just missed the win. Gunnison won that uh, race uh, as I mentioned uh, before. So uh, only won it uh, by a small of margin. So uh, look I think this horse is a uh, contender for uh, for uh, if not the win, uh, maybe a place. Number nine, Summer Passage. Uh, this horse is a Lance O'Sullivan and Andrew Scott trained horse. Zach Purton takes the ride and it's coming out of barrier 13. Australian trained horse based at Mamata, which is in New Zealand. Already a Group 1 winner, it must be said, uh, winning the Satima Stakes, uh, which I thought, I went back and actually looked at the replay, I managed to uh, find the replay, and it was a very good run from this horse. Uh, undefeated in its only two starts, so it's had two starts, won both of them, one of them being at Group 1 level, as I mentioned. This horse really looks good, and uh, we saw Ginger Nuts a couple of weeks ago, who's actually running in the uh, Australian Derby, win very convincingly at Rose Hill Gardens. This horse might be in with a shot, considering how well the New Zealanders are going here in Australia at the moment. Number 10 is Aspect. This horse is a Tony McAvoy trained horse. It's coming out of Barrier 12, and Luke Curry. Uh, uh, well, is uh, aboard once again. Of course, it's been aboard this horse in its last two starts. Uh, ninth in the Group 1 Blue Diamond two starts ago. Second over the 1,400 metre distance. Last start at Flemington. Wasn't far off winning at all, it must be said. Uh, and But however, this is a tougher race. It's no question about that stepping up to Group 1 level. It is at $81 odds. Number 11 is Sakoni. This horse is a Peter Morgan trained horse. Stephen Baster takes the ride. It's coming out of Barrier 10. And this horse uh, led the whole way in its last start and managed to hang on and pinch it uh, from 
Aspect. Uh, one of two horses to have won over the 1400 metres in this race. This is a tougher race, however. Of course, that uh, race was at uh, Flemington. Steps over uh, into Sydney uh, to Royal Randwick, uh, for, I believe, the first time. And uh, it is going to be a much tougher race. But it has won over the 1400 metres, and I guess you can't rule it out. Number 12 is the Mission. This horse is a Paul Perry trained horse. Barrier 9 is its barrier, and Damien Lane comes on. Now, uh, won its first race last start at Rose Hill at Group 3 level. So quite uh, a very good uh, performance there from this horse. It was over the 1400 metres too, so that's uh, even better. And in fact, that's uh, the other horse uh, besides Sacconi who has won over the 1400 metre distance. Jumped very well to lead and managed to finish strongly. This is a tougher race though, and there is a few horses in here that are might, they might be in, in better form and maybe a bit more classy than this horse, but who knows, uh, stranger things have happened. Number 13, Astoria. This horse is a John O'Shea trained horse. James Doyle is aboard as the jockey. It's coming out of a very wide barrier. Barrier 19. Its wind range is 1100 metres. Won its first race two starts back at Warwick Farm. Stepped up to the 1400 metres to come second to the mission. Meets a much tougher race and that wide barrier is a uh, real concern for me. Number 14 is Frolic. This horse is a Michael Friedman trained horse. Tommy Berry stays on and it's coming out of uh, a semi-wide barrier. Barrier 16. His win range is at 1,200 metres. Yet to finish outside the top two. That's very impressive from this two-year-old filly. And uh, it was a strong finish to come second in the Group 1 Golden Slipper a couple of weeks ago to She Will Reign. I think this horse is one of the chances uh, expected to be up there in the top three. Number 15 is Talip. Uh, this horse is a David B. Hayes and T. Dabernick trained horse. It's coming out of barrier two. Kieran McAvoy is aboard as the jockey stays on from its previous two races. And uh, it backed up a week later to come a solid third in the Golden Slipper where it fought on very late. Uh, fourth in the uh, Group 1 Blue Diamond, uh, uh, a few starts before that. Uh, one of the chances, I think, this horse uh, has got some talent, of course. It is a two-year-old Bay filly. Number 16, One More Honey. This horse is a John P. Thompson trained horse. Jay Ford is aboard. It's coming out of barrier 15. And uh, one at Randwick uh, last start over the 1,200 metres at Group 2 level. That was 35 days ago, so that was in the later stages of February. Uh, meets a much tougher race, although it is freshened up, uh, but yet to finish outside the top six. Uh, you never know. Could, uh, could be one of the chances... Uh, who knows? Number 17, Fang Shu. This horse is a David uh, B. Hayes and T. Dabernick trained horse. It's coming out of Barrier 5. And Mark Zara comes on. Uh, this horse is an emergency, so only come in if a horse is scratched. It uh, finished third in its last two starts over the 1,300-1,400 metre distance. Uh, hasn't won a race, though. I think this horse might find it tough if it ends up running. Number 18, Memento. This horse is an Anthony and Edward Cummings trained horse. It's coming out of barrier 17. Sam Clipperton is aboard as the jockey, beaten by Talip, who won the race uh, in its last start. It actually came third that day. Uh, has uh, okay form. It's not the worst form uh, from a horse in this field, uh, but it is at large odds and meets a much tougher race than its previous. Of course, this horse is also an emergency and will only come in if two horses have been scratched from the race. Number 19, Merchant Navy. Uh, this horse is a Kieran Ma trained horse. Congratulations to Kieran, by the way. How good was Jamaica's performance on the weekend. That was absolutely fantastic at Rose Hill uh, Gardens uh, in the BMW. An absolute fantastic win, so congratulations to Kieran Ma, the owners, uh, for an absolute sensational display. This horse is an emergency who's coming out of barrier one if it was to race, and uh, it's only had the one start at Pakenham over the 1,200 metres on the 2nd of March. This is a big step up from Pakenham to uh, Royal Randwick for a Group 1 in, in this sort of uh, field of 20 horses. Uh, it is at large odds at 151, also an emergency. 
He has no jockey at the moment. It's probably unlikely to race in this field because I can't really see three horses being scratched. Finally, number 20, we have another emergency in Spencer. This horse is an Anthony and Edwards uh, Cummings trained horse. It's coming out of barrier eight. Uh, yet to finish inside the top three in any race. I reckon this horse will find this race tough if it was to run. Okay, time now for my tips for the Inglis series. Race six on the card. And, uh, of course, it's over the 1,400 metre distance. Uh, a lot of good horses in this race. There's uh, at least half the field a chance uh, to... Uh, to, to finish uh, inside the top six and, and, and even the top three. So, uh, uh, but look, I'm, I'm going to go a bit of an upset. This horse, I think, is around 10, uh, 11, 12, $13 odds, uh, around about there. Uh, I'm going to go number nine, Summer Passage, uh, an Australian trained horse, but has been based in New Zealand, recently coming off a Group 1 uh, win, uh, which was in the uh, Satama Stakes. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, Satama Stakes. Uh, I actually went back and watched this replay, and I thought it was a very, very good run uh, race. Uh, so, uh, look, it, it comes out of barrier 13. It's a very uh, good barrier. It, does, it did have Blake Shin on that day. It does have Zach Purton on uh, for this race. Uh, but I think the way that New Zealand horses have been going, it's not just because of that. I, I think this horse is in some really good form. It's undefeated in its last two starts. I, I think it's actually in some really good form to win this. So... But the way that some of the New Zealand horses have been going, like Ginger Nuts a, a couple of weeks ago, I think this horse is in uh, a really poised spot to win this race. So I'm going number nine, Summer Passage. Haven't seen it run in Australia, so that's the risk that I'm, uh, that I'm associating, uh, that's associated with this horse. But I think it's in uh, a good spot to win this race. So I'm going to go for first, number nine, Summer Passage. An Australian trained horse, but it's based in New Zealand. So... That is my tip for first. I've gone uh, second, uh, Talip. Uh, this horse has really, really uh, performed well uh, in its previous races. Uh, and uh, I thought third in the Golden Slipper was quite outstanding. It did uh, its... It did some, some best work late. Uh, it did fight uh, in the later stages of the race. Uh, this horse has had a, uh, a week uh, to uh, to freshen up. I think this horse is right in it, and I'm uh, tipping it as a uh, uh, I'm tipping it to finish uh, second in this uh, Group One uh, English series. So I've gone third, Frolic. Uh, this would be the first time it's finished outside the uh, the top two. I think with the barrier, barrier 16 is a little bit of a concern, even though it did uh, come second from barrier 14. Barrier 16, a little bit more wider, so that makes it a little bit more tougher, although the 1,400 metre distance a little bit longer gives you that time to get into that uh, right position. But even so, it is a, uh, a little bit of hard work to get to that best position. But uh, I'm really, uh, really happy with Frolic and how uh, this horse has been going this two-year-old Bay filly. Uh, she's been uh, in very good form. Beat She Will Rain, who, of course, uh, beats uh, this horse in the Golden Slipper. But, uh, yeah, with Tommy Berry on board, it should do well. Should finish in the top three at least, and I'm going to uh, tip it to finish third. So that is my uh, my tips. On now to the roughies of the race. And my roughies of the race, I've gone uh, number five, Trapeze Artis. Uh, I think this uh, this horse uh, didn't do too bad in the Golden Slipper. Six last start. I reckon the extra 200 metres to the 1,400 metres might just suit. So I'm giving it a chance, I reckon, uh, at the odds it's at, uh, which is, uh, let me check here, the odds uh, is uh, it's about $17. So uh, a couple of bucks each way. If it gets up, you might be laughing. So Trapeze Artis is my first roughie of the race. My uh, next roughie of the race is uh, number six. Gunnison uh, fought it out with uh, Invader uh, but snatched it from Invader if it can do that sort of thing and of course uh, it's it's also undefeated uh, uh, in, in two of its starts so uh, if it could do that I reckon this horse is a, uh, a chance to take out the um, the, the English. So that's my roughies, roughies of the race. Number five, Trapeze Artist and number six, Gunnison. Really looking forward to this race of course. It's a race for two year olds. Race seven uh, is the Group 1 BMW Australian Derby over the 2,400 metre distance at Royal Ramwick, uh, starting at 3.50 p.m. Really looking forward to this race. It's a field of 13 horses. Let's have a look at the field. Uh, Ginger Nuts was fantastic in the Rose Hill Guineas on Golden Slipper Day. Didn't expect it to do what it did 
and it is a uh, strong favourite at $3.70. Inference uh, one, the Ramwick Guineas is backed by the Punters at $5. John Snow is backed at $8.50. Anyham is at $9.50. At $12, we have Sosi Bond. At $13, is prized icon. Hardenham is coming off a win in this last race. Is backed at $18. Impa Vito is at $19. Rufflin is at uh, $34. Harper's Choice is at $61. Big gap between Harper's Choice and Hollywood Mo, uh, who is backed at $91. And then at $200. $1, which is an even bigger gap, is Rightless, Rightus Mate, and at $401 is Shink Tack Star. That is the uh, largest odds uh, held by a horse in this field. So that is the field. It's a really, uh, really good field, uh, this one, in the uh, Australian Derby. Let's get on to having a look at the field in depth. Number one is Prized Icon. This horse is a James Cummings trained horse. Glenn Schofield stays aboard. It's coming out of Barrier 6. A forgiving run, uh, two starts back in the uh, Group 1 Rose Hill Guineas. It came 10th out of the 12 horses. I actually backed it and tipped it that day and it uh, disappointed. But uh, it was trying conditions that day on a heavy 10 track, it must be said. And it just didn't suit to it. So, uh, forgiving run. Uh, it bounced back nicely, though, last start yeah, over the uh, 2,000 metres at Rose Hill um, at uh, Group 2 level as well. So it was a good bounce back there. Came second out of the 11th horse field. Uh, does like this distance, of course. It's only uh, 100 metres off what it uh, won over at uh, Flemington last year in the uh, Victoria Derby. So I expect it to be up there in uh, the top five, at least. Number two is Ginger Nuts. Uh, this horse is a Stephen Uttridge and Jamie Richard, Richards uh, trained horse. Opie Bosson stays aboard and it's coming out of barrier 12. Uh, this horse has won its last four races. Uh, won the 2,000 metre, over the 2,000 metre distance in the Group 1 Rose Hill Guineas last start in very convincing fashion, it must be said. Won over the uh, 2,400 metres, uh, two starts back in the New Zealand Derby uh, so uh, it's ran and won over the uh, 2,400 metre distance. First run at Ramwick, but uh, I think it's the one to beat. It's the favourite. It uh, smashed a lot of the field in the uh, in the Rose Hill Guineas. So uh, it's going to be hard to beat, I reckon, this uh, New Zealand uh, three-year-old chestnut. Number three is Inference. This horse is a Michael Wayne and John Hawks trained horse. It's coming out of Barrier 4 and uh, it won the Group 1 Ramwick Guineas. Uh, uh, two starts back and then uh, last start it came second to Ginger Nuts. So uh, it, uh, look, it came third in the Victoria Derby as well. It must be uh, pointed out. That was last year, of course. Uh, over this similar distance, um, I think it's one of the chances. Chances it does run quite well, and it has been lately. Number four is John Snow. This horse is a Murray Baker and Andrew Forsman trained horse. It's coming out of Barrier 9, and Damien Lane stays a board uh, and uh, it came third to ginger nuts two starts back ago in, in New Zealand in the New Zealand derby uh, it's a, uh, a New Zealand trained horse and uh, it won at uh, Ramwick last start over the 2000 meter distance I don't think you can uh, rule this horse out I think it looks uh, very very strong Number five is Sosi Bon. Uh, this horse is a Robbie Lang trained horse. It's coming out of Barrier 7. Kira McAvoy stays a board from its uh, third place in the Rose Hill Guineas. Last start out of the 12 horse field. It was on a uh, heavy 10 track that day. Still not keen on it though. I actually said in my uh, Rose Hill Guineas preview that I wasn't so keen on it and it did surprise me when it came uh, third and actually placed. Uh, I think it has to do a lot better though to convince me in this race uh, because I just think that it's past form doesn't quite add up so uh, it hasn't won past the 1200 metres as well so uh, I uh, am going to pass on Sosie Bond. Number six is Hardham. Uh, this horse is a David Bridge Oak trained horse. It's coming out of Barrier 5. Luke Nolan stays aboard. Uh, One over the 2,000 plus metre distance at Mooney Valley last start in the Group 2 Alistair Clark Stakes. That was on a Friday night. Returns to Ranwick where it uh, ran two starts ago in the Guineas, uh, the Rose Hill Guineas, uh, sorry, the Ranwick Guineas, uh, and uh, it came six that 
day, sorry, seventh for that day out of the 11 horse field day. Uh, just didn't make ground in that race. I don't think you can rule out this horse uh, seems to be uh, impressive and maybe the uh, maybe it might be suited to the uh, 2,400 metre distance. Can't rule out. Number seven is Annie Him. Uh, this horse came fourth over the 2,000 metre Rose Hill Guineas um, last race uh, where it made some good ground late. To, it's fair to say that. I think this horse uh, maybe each way claims. Of course it's got Huey Bowman aboard. It's a Trent Buston and Natalie Young trained horse. Barrier one, the inside barrier, may potentially get boxed in in that barrier but uh, but uh, it should have a uh, pretty clean run on that inside barrier. Uh, and um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't rule that. Number eight is Ruffin. This horse is a Kira Ma trained horse and Mark Zara stays aboard as the jockey. It's coming out of barrier eight. Came second in the group two Alistair Clark Stakes uh, last start at Mooney Valley. Yet to finish outside the top six. Uh, five out of his six starts have been top three finishes. Uh, tough uh, race here. Uh, in its first trip to Sydney, it could surprise. Number nine is Harper's Choice. This horse is trained by Jared Ryan. Jason Collette takes the riders coming out of barrier 10. Uh, this horse is yet to finish outside the top six. That is pretty impressive. Uh, six in the round with Guineas, two starts back, and then fifth in the Rose Hill Guineas. Um, last start. Could surprise and could like that uh, extra uh, 400 metre distance. I reckon we should uh, watch out for this horse. Of course, uh, it did probably go a little bit too early in its last race. I think it might be a bit far back. That's what the speed map is suggesting in this race. So it could be up there and it could be a, uh, a roughie to look out for, I reckon. Number 10 is Hollywood Mo. This horse is a Paul Perry trained horse. It's coming out of barrier three. Uh, Zach Purton comes on board. Yet to win a race but came six last start over the 2,000 metres at Rose Hill was no match however. I'm prepared to pass. Number 11 is Impavito. This horse is a B. John Baker trained horse. Joey Marrera comes on board. It's coming out of barrier 11. Thought this horse was very impressive in my Rose Hill Guineas preview after its fourth in the Randwick Guineas out of the 11 horse field. Came six in the Rose Hill Guineas over the 2,000 metres. Uh, so two places back from its uh, finish in the Randwick Guineas but uh, it still finished in the top six. Um, I think it could surprise. I think if it's uh, if it's um, up to uh, up to speed down the straight, then I think uh, this horse might be right in there um, in the finish. Number twelve, righteous mate. This horse is a Mark Newman trained horse. It's coming out of barrier two. Ty Ungland takes the right eighth last start over the two thousand meters and beaten by horses running in this race too. Only the one win to its. Name $126 odds. Finally, we have number 13, Shine Tax Star. This horse is a John Sargent trained horse. Ben Brendan Adela takes the ride. It's coming out of barrier 13. Is that $251 odds? Has won over the 2,400 metres, though, however, which was its only win. This is a much tougher race, however, and it is out of form coming into this race. So uh, even though it's won over this distance, I think I'm going to have to pass. Okay, time now for my tips for the BMW Australian Derby at Group 1 level, uh, race 7 on the card over the 2,400 metre distance. I'm going to have to go Ginger Nuts uh, as my first placed horse. This horse really did surprise. I uh, wasn't really sure if it could, uh, could uh, run spectacularly uh, in Australia, but it uh, proved me wrong and... Uh, I'm going to tip it. I think uh, it's already won over this distance before. It was in New Zealand, but uh, I tell you what, uh, after its last run, it's hard to go, uh, go past it. So Ginger Nuts first for me. It's the favourite, the favourite for a reason, the one to beat. I've gone, uh, I've gone prized icon a second. It was disappointing two starts back. I'm going to put that down to the conditions, and I'm going to put it in my top three once again. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna forgive that run. Uh, we know it can do well over this distance. Hasn't really proved that in Sydney, but we saw it do it uh, at Flemington. Uh, I'm gonna put it as second uh, because I think it's capable of doing well over this distance and doing well in this race. So, uh, uh, prized icon trained by James Cummings is uh, second for me. 
Uh, I've then got third, uh, Jon Snow, who was another New Zealand uh, trained horse. Uh, this horse uh, came third to Ginger Nuts, and I think it will come third to Ginger Nuts again in this uh, Group 1 BMW Australian Derby. Should be up there. It seems like a very good horse, and uh, uh, seems to do well over this distance. So Jon Snow is my third placed horse. And then my roughies of the race, I've gone two for this race. I've gone number nine, Harper's Choice. I don't mind its last two starts. I think it uh, is capable of winning over this distance. So I wouldn't be surprised if it gets up. It is it actually, it's drifted out to $61 odds. I think that's incredible because I think this horse might be a little bit of a shot. So Harper's Choice is one of my roughies of the race. I've gone in Pavito, the other one, number 11. Uh, this horse is backed at $19 odds. So a lot shorter than Harper's Choice. Uh, six in the Rose Hill Guineas last start, did its best work late. If it can get going a bit later, uh, or sorry, a bit earlier, sorry, and, and, and instead of that late, uh, the, the strong work late, I think this horse might be up the front. So uh, that is my other roughie of the race. So my roughies of the race, number nine, Harper's Choice, and number 11, Im Pavito. Really looking forward to this race. And that is it for part one of episode 23 of the Big Group 1 Racing Show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do stick around for part two of episode 23, which will include a preview of the final two, two Group 1s being ran at Royal Randwick this Saturday. And they are the Darley TJ Smith Stakes, which is going to be incredible. The field is absolutely massive. So do not miss that preview as well as the Star Doncaster Mile. Looking forward to those two races i'll be previewing those on part two of episode 23 of the big group one racing show don't forget to like comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my other uploads and uh, until part two of episode 23 i'm jacob bye for now